Hi, James here, and just wanted to show you how to use implantology and do the planning on here as well. So I'm gonna use their first exercise 0041 with the Virginia patient. Click start in the bottom right. And then we already have a planning that was created previously. So I'm just gonna delete that one by clicking this button first. And you see at the moment I have two options because there's no other plannings. So I can create a brand new one or load the expert planning. This is the person who created the exercise. So I'm gonna go in and create my own planning by clicking the button at the top. You'll see the DICOM scans loaded from this patient. We have the three different views as well as the 3D image in the bottom right. If I right click and slide up, I can then zoom in on this one as well. I can also use the slider if I prefer. So on the left, we have the panoramic curve, and here we have two options, import the expert or create a new. I recommend importing the expert curve because this allows you to then have a comparison between the two different plannings afterwards. By clicking the certain places on the axial view, you see it updates the lingual, and there I can see this is where we need to place the implant. So I can now go to the bottom left and click the implant, click new implant, and then I have a library of all the implants we've got. So these are the Astra Techs, and we can import new ones in the future if you need to. In the top right, we're able to choose the tooth number we're working on, and this helps orientate uh, the implant as well as using it for the comparison to make sure we're working on the right tooth. You see there in the panoramic view, this is the easiest place to move it to start with. And if you go to the center of the implant, the square goes red and the circle goes green. Click, left click and drag to change its placement. And if you move up to the small square on top, as that goes red and the circle again green, click and do a manipulation to rotate it. We can see there on the 3D view of visualization of where that implant's gonna be. So that looks fairly central and in between the two teeth. Perhaps my rotation needs to be slightly more and then I'll just bring it in to the jaw. I also have nerves, which is just for the visualization where you click new nerve. You click once to do the waypoints and twice to finalize it. And you'll see there the start of a little visualization as that nerve's coming out of the 3D view. We can click save planning in the bottom right. And now to load that one, we just click load selected planning. We've got a comparison between what we've just done together here on the left and what the person who created the exercise saved as the expert planning. So I go ahead and click validate at the bottom right if I want to use my planning or cancel just next to it if I want to go back and load the expert plan. But I'm going to go in and click validate and then this is going to load up the simulation. So now I can pose the keyboard down. I have all my various tools for implantology just as we go along here. I'm gonna choose one and the patient's retractors go in. And on this second menu, we have a lot more helpers. So I have the depth gauge, so I can see the depth that I'm drilling at, the point of impact and the ax based on my planning. And then this visual gauge that we're gonna use after we do the drill. So I'm just gonna keep the point of impact there. I use the bottom screen and I'm gonna go straight in with a large implant drill, just so I can hopefully show you that gauge after we do it. And I'm gonna go all the way through. So I'm gonna create a perforation there. And let me just go even deeper to make sure this gauge comes up. There we go. So we've got a visual gauge once that hole is smooth enough, once it's wide enough, 
and that helps you see the placement of it to see whether or not we've done well enough. Now, of course, you also have the evaluation in that third window. So you see, I've done a horrible job here. I've had a perforation and my debt's far too big as well. But that shows you the overall purpose of the planning and how to do one on the simulator. And when you're finished in the top right, you can reset, save, terminate or exit. So I'm gonna successfully terminate the exercise and then you'll see on here we get a 3D view where you can actually see the drilling I've done. You can see that hole has gone all the way through that jaw. You can answer the questions and then self-reflection on things like posture as well, which perhaps requires improvement because I didn't sit in an ergonomic enough position. Click finish. And that saves all your data. And if you have any notifications from your teacher, you'll see that just as a little pop-up just there. So thank you. I hope that helps and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.